Hey folks, uh, this is Lesson 4-2, Dividing Fractions, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. Let's go to that site real quick. If we go to MrMathLog.com, you see all the classes I teach. I actually teach high school at a school called Bella Vista High School in Sacramento. Actually, it's in Fair Oaks. And then uh, this lesson right here is in sixth grade uh, math in this California right here. Here's sixth grade math for, you know, the rest of the nation. But us California folks are a little bit weird. So we have to go to this site right here, okay? So if you scroll down, it'll be loaded right there. So, um, and you click that link and there you go. So that's how you get to this uh, right there. All right, so uh, here we go. Uh, uh, here's our questions. How do we divide fractions? So we're going to show you with some models here. So here we go. Jan has three-fourths cup of salsa for making breakfast burritos. Yummy. Each burrito requires one-eighth of a cup of salsa. Uh, so how many burritos can Jan make? Okay, so, so here we need to find uh, the number. This is our number symbol. So we need to find the number of burritos that can be made. So we need to determine how many one-eighth cup servings are in three-fourths cups. So this is a division problem. We're going to divide three-fourths divided by, by one-eighth. So, so how many of these one-eighth cups can we fit into this three-fourths cup right here? Okay, so we're going to uh, make a model here and in the diagram the, we're going to start with uh, we're going to do fraction strips do you remember fraction strips you guys so we're going to start with one whole and divide it up into fourths and then divide it up into eighths okay so here it is here's one whole right here and we're going to divide the one uh, whole into fourths right here and we're going to divide uh, the uh, the one whole in again into eights right here all right, so here is three fourths. So we're going to go to right there. We just want that three fourths right there, okay? So here's three fourths, okay? So how many of these eights are in three fourths right there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them in there. So uh, Jan will have enough salsa to make six different burritos right there. You know me, I love them. All right, so five people share one half pound of cheese equally. How much cheese uh, does each person uh, receive? Okay, so here we have uh, one whole divided up into halves. So here's our, our half pound of, of cheese right here. Well, if this half pound of cheese is divided up into these five pieces right here, what fraction of this one whole uh, does each person get? Because each person gets one of these five right here. Okay, so if we have five right here, then for this other, to make up the other one, we'd have five more right there. So there, each one of those pieces is one-tenth of a piece. So, so remember, we're taking this uh, half pound right here, and we're dividing it up into these five equal pieces right here. So each pe person is going to receive one-tenth of a pound of cheese right there. You guys like cheese? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. All right, so write a division uh, uh, problem shown by the models in, in A and B. Okay, well, the first one, you guys, it was three-fourths of a cup of salsa divided by one-eighth, and so that gave us the answer of six right there. The other one, there was a half a, a pound of um, uh, cheese divided by five people, and that gave us an answer of one-tenth right there. All right, so another way to divide fractions is to use what's called a reciprocal. So two numbers whose product are one are reciprocal. And I like to think you just flip it, you guys. So flip this fraction right here, 3 over 4, flip it, 4 over 3. If I multiplied, these 4s would cancel, these 3s would cancel, and we'd be left with 1. So uh, they're reciprocals if you multiply them and you get a, a, a product of 1 right there, okay? I just like to think just flip them, you guys, okay? So find the reciprocal of each number. All right, flip this. This would be 9 halves. The reciprocal would be 9 halves. The reciprocal here would be 8 over 1 or 8. This is 5 over 1, so the reciprocal would be 1 fifth right there, okay? Easy enough. Okay, so is there any number, uh, is any number its own reciprocal? And if so, explain. So yeah, 1 is a reciprocal of itself because 1 is 1 over 1, and when we flip it, it's 1 over 1, which is 1. Okay, does every number have a reciprocal? This one's kind of tricky. The only number that doesn't is zero, you guys. It's impossible to have zero in the denominator, and we'll explain this later as we get moving along, but zero can never be in the denominator. You can never divide by zero. The reciprocal of a whole number 
is a fraction with what in the numerator? Okay, think of 8. 8 is the same as 8 over 1. So the reciprocal of 8 over 1 would be 1 over 8. So 1 would be in the numerator. Remember, the numerator is the top number. So for example, 8 is equal to 8 over 1. So its reciprocal is 1 over 8. So 1 is always in the numerator of the reciprocal of a of a whole number right there. Okay, so here in the diagram, and this diagram is going to model 5 divided by 5 eighths. So first let's start off with 5 wholes. That's going to stand for this 5 right there. Okay, we're going to cut those up into eighths. So each one of these holes right here is cut up into eighths right there. Now we're going to start counting off 5 of them. Okay, so 5 of them. There's 5 eighths right there. Here's another 5 eighths right there. Here's another one. Here's another. Here's another, here's another, here's another. One more, okay? So how many of those five eighths go into five holes right there, okay? So each unit was cut up into eights, and so how many sections of five eighths are there in five holes? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them. So five divided by five eighths equals eight. Okay, so here's a diagram. Here's two holes right here. Now these two holes are going to be cut into fourths. So we take, here's four fourths. Here's another four fourths. Okay, we only want five of them. So here's five fourths right here. All right, now what we're going to do is cut those fourths up into eights to show uh, two five eights right there. So five fourths divided by five eights gives us two because there's two five eighths that fit into five fourths right there. Okay, so five fourths divided by five eighths equals two. All right, so um, here five eighths divided by five eighths, you guys, well that's easy enough. Five eighths divided by five eighths, anything divided by itself is one because there's one five eighths and one five eighths right there. So here, if we don't see a pattern, hope you do here, so complete the table. What do you notice about the uh, the quotient and the product in each row, and then what do you notice about the divisor in column one and the multiplier in column two? Okay, so the divisor in column one are these answers. The multiplier in column two are these answers. So let's do this one at a time. Let's complete the table. Okay, so I'll underline that right there. Okay, so we're going to complete the table. All right, so uh, five divided by five eighths. Well, we did that earlier, you guys. Five divided by five eighths gave us there were eight five eighths in five holes, so that equaled eight right there. 5 fourths divided by 5 eighths, we did that one also. 5 fourths divided by 5 eighths equals 2. 5 eighths divided by 5 eighths, that was easy enough. That's uh, equal to 1 right there. Okay, so let's keep going over here. All right, so now this is 5 over 1. The 5's will cancel. We're left with 5 times 5 eighths. Remember, the 5's cancel. We're left with 8. Okay, here the 5's cancel. 4 goes into 8 2 times, so we're left with uh, 1 times 2 over 1 times 1, which is 2 over 1 or 2. Here the 5's cancel, here the 8's cancel, so there's that right there. So now we've completed the table. Let's do this next question. What do you notice about the quotient? So this quotient right here and this product right here, okay? So that's what we're going to answer next. Well, they're the same, you guys. The quotient and the product, the answers are the same. All right, let's go to the next question. So what do you notice about the divisor, this divisor right here, 5 eighths, 5 eighths, 5 eighths, and this um, multiplier right here, 8 fifths, 8 fifths, 8 fifths? Well, they are reciprocals of each other. So the divisors and the, and, are the, and the multipliers are the reciprocals of each other. So use the pattern in the table to uh, make a conjecture about uh, uh, how we can use multiplication to divide numbers in fractions. Okay, well, okay, so here's our table right here. Well, remember, 5 divided by 5 eighths gave us 8, and 5 times the reciprocal gave us 8 also. So when we divide by a fraction, if we multiply it by the reciprocal, it gives us the the same answer. So we can just multiply the number by the reciprocal and we'll get the same answer. So let's sketch a model to show, um, uh, to use to solve the division problem 6 sevenths divided by 2 sevenths. Let's do that first, okay? So here's one whole right here divided up into six or 7. We're dividing it up into 7 pieces right here. So we take 6 of them right here and we see how many 2 of them will fit into 6 of them. So 2 sevenths, here's 2 sevenths. 
two sevenths, two sevenths, there's three of them. So six sevenths divided by two sevenths equals three right there. Okay, so uh, how can we use the pattern to uh, what we noticed in, in section C? Well, six sevenths divided by two sevenths is the same as six sevenths times the reciprocal, which is seven halves, okay? Now the sevens will cancel, the two goes into six three times, and we're left with three times one over one times one which is still three, okay? So that gives us to this rule right here. If you, if you didn't know it already, hopefully you probably did. But anyways, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by its reciprocal. So for example, one-fifth divided by one-fourth is the same as one-fifth times four over one. One times four is four. Five times one is five right there, okay? I like to say this, you guys, a phrase that helps me and my students told me this. You keep it, you change it, you flip it, okay? Change that to a multiply, so keep this the same. Change that to a multiply, flip it. So keep, change, flip, okay? So here we go, let's try that with these, okay? We're gonna do keep this the same, change it to multiply, flip it. Keep, change, flip. Let's do that with both of those right there, okay? And then we'll start canceling. Keep, change, flip, okay? So three goes into three, three goes into nine, three times. So we're gonna change those. And then down here, five goes into five, five goes into 10, two times right here. So up here, we're gonna have five times one over three times two is six. And then down here, we have nine times one is nine. 2 times 2 is 4. Now the reason why I didn't do this in pink because they want you to change that back to a mixed number. So 4 goes into 9 2 times with 1 left over. So we have 2 and 1 fourth right there. Okay. I know I went fast you guys but it was kind of jam-packed. Hope that made sense. Take care.